see this is a jellyfish I have never seen one yeah so this is a sea this is not a lake it's a sea it's the first time I'm coming to the sea but they say that sea water is usually sometimes salty it is salty so I don't know maybe I take on the challenge and <laughs> see if I fall sick <laughs> it is salty it is salty the water is salty oh my god <laughs> if you've never been to the sea as they say I've confirmed today that sea water is salty what? Those are the ladies. Those are the ladies. <laughs> well, my <laughs> That is Wilma. This is Hilda over there. And this is how far. I have actually come. Yeah. So I don't know, I'm a couple of meters away, maybe about uh, 100 meters from the shore. And it's really interesting to be down here. Yeah. yeah. I'm down here and it's fun. But the water is really, really, really very salty. And actually, it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic when you come and swim in you know, salty water. Actually, I think it's uh, is it the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea where you know they say that when you actually go in that water, you get cured of different you know diseases, skin diseases, like the way they used to do it, you know, back in the ancient times. So I think it's it's not different from here. Salty water could it could be true that it's therapeutic. So if I have any skin infection or skin disease, then maybe this would be some sort of remedy and cure for whatever is on my skin. The bacteria, the germs perhaps will die because of you know the saltiness, which is Salt is an alkaline, yes. The level of alkalinity, if you remember your chemistry, the level of alkalinity in this lake is just, it must be somewhere close to uh, 14. <laughs> if you remember the pH scale, the pH scale runs from, I think, uh, 1 to 14. So anything at 7, is somehow neutral and anyth anything below seven is acidic and anything above seven is alkaline so if you remember that you know that's just a tip for you if you remember that chemistry <laughs> yes <laughs> i see hilda's got a seaweed this is a seaweed here yeah. You, you're with your phone? Yes, I'm Oh! <laughs> Hilda just forgot her phone. She forgot and came to the deep part of the lake of the sea with her phone. So we don't know what is going to become of her phone. <laughs> Stop laughing. I've been telling Hilda that she needs to buy a phone. Now there is reason. <laughs> There is a reason for her to buy a phone. <laughs> you know her phone is broken and I've always told her to buy a new phone. But now the fact that she has come to the water with a phone, who knows whether it will survive. <laughs> and besides that, the water is salty. So remember salt is a good conductor of electricity. I don't know what is going to happen to that phone. But <laughs> if it gets spoiled, then yeah, she will have to buy a new phone. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, 
For me, I'm just here. Uh, this is not like vlogging, but it's sea vlogging. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the life we missed during lockdown, you know? The sea actually extends very far. I don't know how many uh, kilometers it is, like the length of the shore. I don't know how many kilometers it is, but it's really very, very, you know, long and very distant. So I will leave Wilma in the water and I'll have to take my phone and the gimbal back to, you know, the mainland because I want to just fall in this water and swim a bit. Yeah. That's water. 